Okay, in this lesson, before we continue, I want to show you uh, a problem you might have in either Google Chrome or Safari or uh, Internet Explorer or maybe Firefox. And the problem is internal server errors. The first thing you're going to come across to is going to be the HD access we have. And you're going to have this internal server error. And this error is all about this session cookie domain, uh, which is because you're using uh, localhost, uh, this is not gonna work and you're gonna get this error internal server error and you don't need to panic all you need to do browse the, because you, you if you're using a Mac, if you're using a window you're gonna be all right you can open up this file and edit it uh, just go ahead and comment this and save the file but if you're using a mac open up your terminal and browse to your exercise file and then issue this command sub l which is going to be open up opening this with sublime text and uh, type dht access the sublime text is going to open up this file for you or either you can do uh, issue this command nano or maybe you, you need to use sudo before nano uh, let's just do it for you to be able to see it much better sudo nano and then dot hd access and then open up this is going to ask your password let me just make this a little bit bigger this is a text editor built in inside the unix you come down here you can put this into a comment and how you can save this hold down control and X and then it's gonna say okay you want to save modify buffer and then type Y and then enter and you can quit this now if I refresh now you can see that we get this uh, PHP version now if I scroll down to the session section let's see if something is actually changing. The first thing you're going to notice is going to be this uh, session cookie path which is now changed to persistent because we are having this, uh, let's just close this, and then we have this HD access which is hidden right here and if I open up you can see that we have this persistent right here. The second thing you're going to realize is uh, this parse click session because we are changing this session from PHP SSID, which is the master value, to local value, which is parse click session. So local values, uh, local values are the things that you saving either on your .hd access or .user .ini files, and maybe you're using a any .set or ini underscore set. And uh, the thing we're gonna mention again, we have this max life session, and uh, you have this cookie are on already if you haven't set this on and uh, you could change this max li uh, max lifetime to zero again and uh, you might do it and other thing I want to show you session safe path if you're using a MAMP, VAMP, LAMP or any of the stacks this value is not empty because I haven't used MAP or ZAMP or any of those stack I installed PHP, MySQL and uh, Apache um, you know manually that's why I get this no value but all the big and if you have this no value which means is uh, this is going to be the the sessions are going to be stored in your uh, temporary folder uh, which your server uses so if I uh, open up this temporary folder which is if you type slash var slash tmp and open up all the sessions are right here starting with SESS -S, which is stands for session and didn't continue and you cannot open any of this so if, if I open up if I wanted to open up this with text editor it's going to give us an administrator you can go ahead and open I'm going to show you how in this lesson but let's just go uh, back to our files I'm going to uh, show you the files I have so if I drag this folder number five to sublime text I have three four files which is going to be a session don't panic I'm going to explain what's going on here this is just the uh, HTML file with the head uh, session test and we have this form that's the, that's the only thing you need to know we have this form which is going to be a method post and action is going to be sent to a file called session underscore zero two dot php and then we have this label enter your first name and with the input name first name and with the submit button so this file is going to be submitted to session uh, underscore zero two dot php file if i open up this file on the top before we uh, open up this uh, before we uh, use this doctype.html before we actually 
uh, use this HTML. We have the session underscore star, and then we, uh, we're creating a session variable if the uh, form has been submitted. So we check this. If this um, first name is set, set means if it's not empty and if we have the value. And if it's not empty already, we, this is the second condition. This is not necessary if you, if you don't want to use it, don't want to use it. But uh, the reason I'm using because I want to show you if we have probably going to have the uh, empty session. And then if we have an empty session, we're going to set it to my name, Amir or Hassan or anything you want. So we check this name. And if this is valid, we, we're going to uh, sanitize it and store it to the, the super global session uh, variable. If you don't have it, we're going to set it to my name. And then in here, we're just going to say hello and show the first name. If it's set already, we're going to show it here. If not, we're going to echo not known. We don't know this guy. And then we have a link which is going to redirect us to the uh, page page three. It's not a redirection. You can actually click on this link if you don't have it. And then it's going to redirect you here. We're going to uh, start a session again. And here we're going to say hello. If the name is available, it, if it's said, we're going to say hello, the first name, maybe Hassan or anything you, uh, your name is. If not, em if it's empty or not set, we're going to say it not known. We're going to try all of this. So first thing, we're going to just close all of these and go back to uh, here, exercise file, to our folder called file. So I'm going to open up this session 01. It says, enter your first name. I'm just going to type Hassan. There you go. Submit. And it's going to say, hello, Hassan. And it's going to read our, uh, it is remembering the session. If I go to the page three now, it says, hello, not known, because uh, we, we are not, you know, session is destroyed already. We don't have it. So if I go back here, and then if I even go to page number two right now, it says, okay, not known. But we have to set it before use it in uh, session 01. So let's do it again, Hassan, and then submit. So how do we know where the session is? If, I, if you're using a Firefox, if you're using a Chrome, uh, I'm gonna show you really quickly uh, in a Firefox and then go to the Chrome and then show you there. If I uh, go to the Firefox and then preferences, Firefox preferences are really uh, it's like a wild animal, it's always changing. So if you go to the privacy and then there is uh, a link called remove individual cookies and you can look for the, uh, you might have all of these, but I deleted already. I don't wanna, uh, you know, make it so complicated. If you have a lot of them, you can just type local host and then you might come across to this just one local host. First thing you're gonna realize we have this parse click session, which is a cookie name. If I open this up, if I just click on this, you can see the name is parse click session without any name and then the content is q0h remember this and then we have this host local host and then path is uh, slash persistent sent for any type of connection and the end of the session so, so the cookies are not stable they are expired at the end of the session and if i open up uh, the folder i mentioned which is going to be var tmp and start looking for that session if I uh, filter by date today, you can see that Q0H6S. I don't know if you if you can see it. The video is high quality. There you go. Zero uh, Q0H6S uh, key V0 and so on. You can see that it's right here. Today, 1927, the time of recording. If I open up, if I drag this to Sublime Text, it gives me something like that. It's not gonna. Uh, don't be, don't be disappointed. It's, you don't have to. You don't. You're not supposed to open up all of these files. But I'm not just gonna uh, open this file to show you. It's just a simple text. So if I right click and then uh, get info, hit get info. Open up this lock because you are the administrator. You can do anything you want. So let's say read and write. It gives the read and write privilege. And then close this. And then if I drag it to Sublime Text, all you can see in the session. First name Hassan. So sessions are can, uh, can be changed, and the reason uh, which are secure because it sits on your server, and uh, you won't be able to, uh, you know, user won't be able to change it, but you can change it. And uh, there are many uh, different ways you can, uh, you know, uh, encrypt your session and prevent uh, session fixations and so on. So 
let me just close this and if I go back here as as I showed you earlier if I go to the uh, before clicking this uh, page 3 if I go to the 3 it says hello not known because now we don't have the session if I uh, go back here again to the uh, preference and then privacy remove individual cookie and then localhost we have this and then this the session is different right now you see it's it says tbr6 es so if i go here and then there we go there's another session so these are not destroyed these are not uh these are not these are not anything you uh, can be de you can destroy you can destroy you can go ahead on, on your server and remove it individually but you need, you need to have a garbage collection to remove all of this so if i go ahead and open this up uh, let me just change the privilege again to read and write and then drag this to sublime text to show you there is nothing in it there we go nothing in it and that's why you get hello not known because uh if you if i open up this file number three again there you go we start the session again and that's why the session first name is empty and we're not submitting any form to this uh, session underscore uh, zero three php that's why you get this uh you know not known so i hope you understand the session uh, right now and then the where where they uh, they can be saved so in the, in the next lesson we're going to continue working on the session uh persistent sessions but uh you already know that if you look at your uh, php info uh, and then session section our uh session uh configurations are ready for persistent sessions and I'm going to show you how to implement them in the next movie.